Hey mi gente, as you guys can see, I got a haircut. Oh, I got my eyebrows done. Yes. First off, thank you to my brother. He's always doing such a good job to make me look uh, this good. Like, my confidence level is like... Like, you know what? It's okay to feel like that. And I'm pretty sure it goes with you guys too. Guys, I know when you guys get your haircuts, you guys feel badass fuck. Girls, know when you guys get your eyebrows, your hair, nails, etc. done. I know you guys be feeling like the baddest bitches in the motherfucking world. Am I right or wrong? Exactly. Today's video, I am going to do a Q&A. For those who watched my Snapchat before this video, saw that I accidentally deleted all my Q&A questions. I know. Ugh. So I had to start all over and ask you guys if you guys can come up with questions to help me make this happen. Before I start answering the questions, I decided to get a little treat for myself. The Jose Cuervo Margarita. This is in the flavor orange pineapple. Do not do this at home if you're under 21. Oh, yes. Come through, honest answers. Food. Now I actually taste it. <laughs> to prime my skin, I am going to use obviously the Touch of Self Canvas, my day one, my ride or die bitch. I love this. This much. And guys, I did wash my hands before I started this, so don't trip. <gasps> bitch! Don't trip! Eh. Guys, this is from Elf. Dude, this is only like four or five dollars. One of my friends, his name is Manny, his friend Jessica, she actually recommended this to both of us at the same time. We both heard about it and we're like, oh my gosh, like, you know, let's do it. I'm just blending in the primer just to make sure it's actually in the skin. Once I apply the foundation, it'll look really smooth. I like using the tart. Sorry about the lid. So I had two. I gave one to my mom because she loved it. I decided to keep the, you know, junky looking one because, you know, it's just out of respect, you know? This is my I have makeup but don't have makeup look. I start off by applying a dot here, 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 and here, and here. Then I just carry the rest of the product and just work myself around my face. Once I'm satisfied with how the foundation is looking, I am going to layer it up with the Urban Decay Powdered Foundation in the shade Medium Dark. It broke. Just trying to take advantage as much as I can before it's officially done. Grabbing the Eco Fluffy Brush, I am going to add some product in there. I try not to go overboard, as I mentioned before, I'm trying to look as natural as possible. My eyebrows are naturally dark, so I don't really have to add so much. Normally when I do my full glams, of course, I like, like literally being super dark eyebrows but since we're going for a natural look once I'm finished with the eyebrows I move on with the hula bronzer just to bronze up a little bit of my face features go over your shadows and last but not least I am going to use the heated eyelash curler while i wait for my lash curler to heat up i want to tell you a little bit of manny manny's one of my gay best friends has been the first one that i ever had called a gay best friend i, I hate using labels but i just want to make sure because i remember when we started being friends people thought that we were dating but obviously that was not the case pretty much we're both bottoms Oh my gosh! Before I complete this look, I am going to go with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And just blend that out. What do you guys think is a natural look? And I do need to apply highlighter. 
Now let's get to the questions. How many Chile appointments have you had? If you don't know Spanish, like Chile is pretty much peppers, hot peppers. But the way she or he's asking, it takes a lot for me to do things like this because as I said before, like I'm very reserved. Not a lot of people can get this, you know? For those who got to tap this, good for you, bitch, because you will never do it again. I, it's been like... Have you ever farted in public, like in a store, then walked away like nothing happened? Yes, bitch, I have. I mean, it happens. Like, sometimes you just gotta let it out. Have you ever done someone's makeup and their breath stinks? <sighs> you know, if you're gonna talk to somebody, please pop a motherfucking gum in your mouth. I brush my teeth and chew freaking gum just to show respect because I know for a fact that obviously I'll be talking to you so you know you kind of think that you would do the same but yeah I've only had one makeup gig that the breath stings and obviously I, I, I'm not gonna say anything because that's fucking rude <laughs> it's not cute are you single if so why Yes, I am single. I've been happily single for the past five years. Why am I single? I feel like every time I have the opportunity to meet someone, they get scared. Let me give you an example. There was this guy that, you know, we matched. We met up. We went on a date. It was like shocked because he was saying that he couldn't believe that I actually looked like my pictures. Which, which honestly, that shook me because I'm like... Bitch, you're calling me beautiful like thank you my plans were just to go home or whatever and I'm being honest with you guys I'm like spilling all the motherfucking tea I don't know if it's the tequila that's doing this talking but honestly I like it bitch I'm not holding back that night like you know we had dinner I was having a good time and then after dinner he offered for me to go to his house so obviously I did go to his house and you know, he popped a movie in, we had popcorn and wine, we had a good time. I ended up staying the night, yeah, we didn't do anything, like, sexually wise. Keep in mind, I stayed the night because he offered. I was actually planning to go home, and obviously he's like, oh, just stay, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Just lay down, you know? The next day, I'm over here thinking like, okay, it's going good, whatever. I went back home, and we were supposed to hang out that night. So that night came, and we did a second date. At this time, I'm thinking like, okay, everything's going well because, you know, when you get second dates, that's usually like, okay, I'm kind of interested, like, for sure. The moral of the story is that he got scared. He told me that things were moving too fast and that I was just too much of a boyfriend material, I guess you can say. And like, you know, like that, it's just my personality and my caring that I give that affection, I guess you can say, even when I'm not trying to. It's kind of annoying because it's been happening to me for the past few dates that I've had. It's like, dude, like, I can't help it. That's just me. And if you don't like it, then a la chingada, you know? But I'm actually thankful for all those dates and not working because that's just telling me that they're not the one, you know? And that's why I'm still single to this day. And I, as I said before, I'm happily single. I'm loving myself even more each day. I think that's the key to be happy is to love yourself first before you can love anyone else. What is your favorite Mexican dish? Carne de Chile. And honestly, I'm not trying to brag, but my mom by far has made the best red salsa ever. Like nothing so far all the mexican restaurants has not yet satisfied me with the red salsa that's why usually when i go out to eat i usually go for the green salsa because it's actually good at the restaurants but my mom's salsa roja is like my go-to if you could change one thing that happened in the past what would it be that's a very good question. I mean, there's a lot of things that I would change that happened in the past, but obviously I look at it as this way. If the things that happened in the past didn't happen, I wouldn't be who I am today. So to answer your question, no, I would not change anything. And how old were you when you realized you liked boys? Um, I realized that I liked boys in a very, very, very young age. I was actually in primary school. You might think it's crazy, but that's going to be in another video. Just know that I've known since I was a kid. 
If you had one wish, what would it be? I wish that my parents wouldn't struggle, not have to worry about sacrificing a lot of stuff for their kids. That's pretty much what I would wish for. What made you want to vlog? Just to give you guys a way to get to know me, I guess. What are your goals? Where do you see your YouTube channel going? If you guys haven't yet watched my video about my vision board, those are just some examples of my goals. Where I see my channel going, honestly, I personally hope, and as I said before, that if something's for you, it will be for you. I see my YouTube channel succeeding, honestly. I believe in myself. I know that if I work hard enough to make my dreams reality, because in the end of the day, guys, the true key to accomplish your goals is if you, you believe in yourself. That's literally the key. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel, like, comment, share to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your dog. Okay, maybe not your dog. Thank you guys. Mwah.